This is the house the camera I built. Time to get started. Hey there, welcome to the house camera I built. I'm camera and today is something a little bit different. Uh, it's a different scenario. I never thought I'd bring you to my <laughs> poor excuse for a kitchen. And I apologize, the lighting's not great. Um, I'm having some lighting issues just by happenstance. And you know what? Let's go fix that. So boom, lighting's a lot better. Uh, <laughs> hopefully these won't be too bothersome. Uh, I honestly could probably light a porta potty better, but I'm working with what I got, and uh, hey. So, let's get on to the very special part of this. I signed up with a new service that brings us to the kitchen, so let me go ahead and get that box. For the record, I don't know anyone besides me that would actually have the fridge space do this, unless maybe it's their target audience uh, to have lonely bachelors, but then they send out meals for two three a week it's worth is what it's supposed to be and I hope this is all three's worth because ugh, blueapron.com we're trying this out I'm trying to figure out ways to to do things and eat healthy and uh, honestly if I don't have to decide what I want to eat or eat the same thing over and over again it'll be helpful but I'm a little skeptical about this so we're gonna see how this works so inside your giant box there's this cool uh, gel pack thing they had in there. I did take that out. Um, you've got your little recipe things. Uh, so chicken katsu and pan roasted hockey and romesco sauce. I don't know what that really means. So, is there not a third one? Those are two of one and one of the other. Ah, southern style burgers is the other one. Um, which I don't like that because it's french fries, but it looks like we're going to make it ourselves, so not so much a problem. Oh, they have this cute little letter. Dear Blue Apron Chefs, this week's blah blah blah. Because uh, they do do weekly menus or whatnot, and that's available on the website. Collard greens. Oh, that pepper's worse for the wear, but luckily, I'm not going to eat that thing. Uh, it is busted up, but that's to be expected the way it's shipped. It does, you should cl always clean your vegetables before you cook with them. I'll say that. Because um, that is a little, yeah, that could be my fault. This did get rather uh, packed. Um, what looks to be like a zucchini that's in... Fairly good shape. Maybe it's eggplant. It is rather purple. Zucchini's green, I think. Um, oh, they were nice enough to cut some. Oh, some cabbage, not lettuce. But cabbage. I don't want to use that. Um, this is just neat. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be doing cooking today. I think I'm just gonna unbox this. Um, it says gold fingerlings, but I don't know what that means. Supposedly, they're a type of potato. Uh, and then, it is potato. It is potato. You don't get that. Go watch Zombies Papers, Please, Let's Play. You'll laugh a little bit. Um, I don't know what panko is, but there's some breadcrumbs. Uh, some burger knickknacks. Uh, chicken knickknacks. And hockey knickknacks. So, what this is, is bits and pieces of meals. Um, this is, I think, definitely my fault. I didn't do some unfortunate rearranging. So, they sent me something in a little clamshell. Oh, that is not a burger. Oh, it's a plum tomato. But they know what they're doing with the packaging, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Because uh, that was really good, and I do like plum tomatoes uh, a lot more than some of the bigger ones on occasion. They're sometimes easier to work with. Um, so there's that. That's actually a really smart idea. I like that. Uh, I thought it was an apple uh, because of the bruising on its skin, but fortunately it's an onion, which we probably won't use. Um, oh, Farfetch Far! They're leeks! I don't know why I'm so excited about that. I just like Farfetch. Um, some Keep Refrigerated. <laughs> They're sesame seed buns, I can tell that much. Uh, that's garlic as far as I can tell. That is a big green tomato, 
which uh, is the other type of tomato in size and color that I'm aware of. Scallions! Man. So these are the, the, the pack thingies that I was talking about. Um, they're called Nordic Ice. Um, I am totally going to refreeze these and use these, and I don't know if I'm supposed to return them or not. Tradesman Premium Cuts Cutlets. My cats are getting excited because uh, they can smell the meats. Um, that's how the fish comes. And that's the burger. So there's an unboxing. Uh, I will mention how good these things are later. I am not going to film a cooking attempt, I don't think. But uh, that's going to end this video anyways. Uh, so Blue Apron, we're, we're, we're going to see what's happening with it. Stop! I took a moment to go look at the recipes for a minute because they're so nicely done. I thought they'd be really accessible and it'd be nice and simple and I'd be done in a half hour. I probably spent 10 minutes just looking at each, or not each of these instructions, but all the instructions together. Um, but like just for Southern Cyril burgers, for instance. Here's what it looks like. That doesn't look too bad. It's got a nice big graphic up here. It's got a description. It's got all your ingredients and the visually what the ingredients look like. So if you're dumb, you, <laughs> you can find them and pull them out. And dumb, I, by dumb I mean illiterate, not really stupid. Then they managed to get all three of these meals into six easy steps for you, which I can't really complain about, but it's not six easy steps. So it's completely misleading to, to see six boxes here and think you're dumb. Um... No, so you've got a set of instructions six times, and they're not always super complicated. Like, drizzle the seasoned potato with olive oil and seasoned salt and pepper, arrange on a sheet, sheet pan in single even layer, roast stirring halfway through 22 to 25 minutes until golden brown. Right there, that tells me that this is not a half hour endeavor. Um, my time is precious, I'm sitting here making a video, but uh, it's what I wanted to do with it. Food is not something like I really... Uh, get behind is a use of time. I, it's, it's something that I have to do in order to go do my other things um, so that I don't feel the way I feel when I'm hungry and I hate it. Um, I'd, I'd rather swallow a pill and be done with it. If I ever get my stupid uh, uh, soil grain in, um, we'll see if that works. But this, I know how to make a burger. So they, they have us making this chow chow stuff, which I guess is okay, but I don't really need my burger spicy. I don't like it spicy. I don't need anything that help my digestive system along, so immediately that takes your onions and garlics and stuff out. Um, honestly, these look tasty. I'm probably still going to roast that potato up. I'm still going to make me a burger or two, um, but I think I'm just going to cut through all the nonsense, and uh, I'm going to make it camera eye style um, and just not do all this. Uh, the knickknack bag is impressive. If you are looking for a service where you can make fancy stuff, uh, affordable, because this is affordable per meal, um, but part of the reason why I don't cook that often, or I don't like cooking that often, is because I live alone. Uh, it's If I have someone here in the house living with me, then by all means, I will cook. I will cook lots of stuff. I will try experiment with stuff. I would go back to this. This is not what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a fancy... Uh, version of Hungry Man, uh, essentially, and, um, no, um, no, and that looks so good, that looks so awesome, I'll be honest, uh, that's actually eggplant, just for, uh, people wondering, it's not French bread, um, though it, it does look like it, uh, and I think this is super successful for the people who want to do this, but I don't. So I'm going to use the ingredients I have uh, they, or that they selected for each thing. So I'm going to take the ingredients selected for each item. I'm going to mix it up my style, which is going to take a whole lot, a lot less time. Um, and hell, well, probably the longest thing that any of this will take will be the potatoes. Um, and I've got a way of going about that anyway. So I'll just do that. Get some eats on. So I'm going to go ahead and say right now without doing anything, uh, I'm going to say that while everything looks quality, uh, from instructions to things, it's not what I, I thought it was. It's not the service that I want. Um, so if I find the service that I want, uh, which is a service that will send individualized, uh, quick prepared meals, 
um, without worrying about being all fancy like, then I will do that. If they come up with like brown apron for shitty meals, I don't know. I will sign up for that service. I'll come back. But um, blue apron, I just don't think is for me. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, after all, instead of where I was going to end it before. And um, sorry to disappoint. And sorry, Rooster Teeth, that I tried to go through one of your sponsors. This Nature Box worked out really well. Dollar Shave Club seemed to work out really well. And um, I don't know. I just this is a, a miss. And I have to go kill a cat. So. I am Camerai. <laughs> Have a nice day. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels.